Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to the last beer in the Polly's six birthday beers collaboration series. And we're left with this one. And this is the big boy. This is the 10% Imperial Stout in collaboration with Make Make or Macha Macha, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, I say it's 10% Imperial Stout. Now, every time I've had a beer from Macha Macha, they've been sours or they've been kind of a twist on that feel. Uh, but this one, which is the straight Imperial Stout, I say 10%. Um, best before is the 5th of the 12th, 24. This is on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure this could probably go on a little bit longer than that. Um, it is 4.4 UK units. I am, and there's not much more to say really. I'm going to look at the can art. I like that. I like that. It's very nice. Very nice. Now the uh, the coma the coma cluster or the coma cluster coma cluster is a is a group of stars, I believe, and it's a it's galaxies contains galaxies and whatnot. Just stick into Google, and you'll soon find out. So let's pop it up on this and let's see what we have. Wow, filled right, right to the brim with beer. Pours a deep brown jet black beer. Okay, let's do that. Here we go, look at that. Ooh, that looks great. That looks really cool. So, beer and glass, what have we got? We've got a one finger, density compact, Time dead, sorry, I've got one of the cats has just is decided to go to wake up and it's done something a little bit stupid. <laughs> anyway, um yeah, so we've got one finger, does it back time head. Beer is jet black. I don't do really like to get through this you ready for it. Absolutely none whatsoever. Um it looks beautiful. It really does look great. Let's go. Let's go for the nose, so we can smell. Cheers. <sighs> Roasted malt. Bit of dark, dark chocolate. <coughs> Bit of coffee. And there's something else there as well. There's a woodiness to it. There's a bouginess to it. There's that's what I'm smelling. I'm, I'm getting the alcohol vapor right at the back of my nose. Right, let's go for the body in carbonation. Cheers, my dears. Again, that's not uh, not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be thick and heavy, and it isn't. It just it's just not there. I am. Um, carbonation is nice and light. I am almost non-existent, to be fair. Let's see where this one's going. Let's go for the big old taste. Cheers. That is, <clears throat> well, that is very reminiscent of another mug Stranic. It's really bitter. Dark chocolate. Heavily roasted malt. Proper bitter. Lovely bitter finish as well. It's like it's an imperial style with no adjuncts in it. Um... It just does exactly what it's supposed to do. And it's beautiful. There may be a hint of coffee in there. 
and maybe a hint of dark chocolate. But for me, it's just it's it's roasted malt, heavily roasted malt, a bit of dark chocolate, a bit of roasted coffee, a massive bitterness. It's fantastic. It is really good, and it's super light in the body. Excellent stuff. That is that's excellent. Again, sorry, excuse me. Picking that, picking the the, the glass up. I did get a whiff of I did get a whiff of roasted coffee. And you, you, you do still get it. Oh, that's tremendous. That is tremendous. That's a really good imperial stout. It ain't gonna lie, it ain't gonna mess about. That's fab. So I chop this review up. This is Polly's Sixth birthday collaboration with Maka Maka. This is yeah, Coma Cluster. Imperial Stout at ten percent. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. I recommend to friends without a shadow of a doubt. It's delicious. It really is. It's, it's great. Um, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Polly's website where you can't buy this beer. Um, but this one is available. I think it's on Temple of Madness and I think it's on Rainville. I think. Um, do that for the video. Do that if you don't, subscribe down there. The usual stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay late, stay safe. Hey, Leo.